The project I've been working on is called Pixel Shaders, and it's a, an interactive book about programming the graphics processor, the GPU, um, targeted at artists and beginner programmers and creative explorers of all types. Um, so there's sort of three main ideas with this project. The first is that it's, um, it's a book about programming, but it's a book about a certain type of programming, programming the graphics processor. Um, so every modern computer these days has uh, sort of two brains in it. It has a CPU and the GPU. The CPU is the central processing unit and the GPU is this new graphics processing unit. Even phones have this, smartphones. Um, so um, the, the difference with the GPU is that it has thousands of cores. So the CPU is like, it's very fast, but it does one thing at a time. So you're used to having these long these long programs that do um, you know, one line after another. But the GPU, there are thousands of cores, so um, for example, at a pixel shader, you can think of every single pixel on the screen as being an independent computer. And the challenge is how do I orchestrate all of these pixels to display colors and create some sort of advanced effect? Um, so, um, just to give some examples, um, this is like what a, what a pixel shader looks like, the code. Um, you can see it's not too much code to create this, um, this gradient. Um, but basically, this program gets run for every single pixel individually, and then that creates whatever the image is. Uh, and then you can do um, much more fancy things. Um, and it, it also runs very fast because every pixel is doing its computation independently so it can run at 60 frames per second, it uses less energy. Um, so this is really the programming of the future, I think, is parallel programming. Um, it's not only used for graphics, but um, for example, doing a uh, CT scan reconstruction, people are using GPUs because that sort of problem is very parallelizable. So with this book, I'm trying to bring um, this parallel programming idea into the next generation of programmers. I think the next generation needs to be learning these types of algorithms rather than the old types of algorithms. Um, so that's the first idea. The second idea is the audience. So this is a book for artists. And um, basically all GPU learning resources right now that exist are targeted at people who are already expert programmers and just want to start programming the GPU. Um, but this book is targeted at beginners. So the, um, the premise is, well, what would, what would it be like if we started off beginners learning this type of programming rather than the old type of programming? Um, and sort of the book is an experiment to see if that's going to work. So um, hopefully there'll be some beginners at the workshop and we can see how well it works. Um, and then the third idea is that this is an interactive book. Um, this, the book is not going to be printed. It, it doesn't make sense for it to be printed. Um, the reason for that is that um, throughout the book are these interactive examples. And you can change these examples to sort of see how they work. and. Uh, that's sort of the whole point is that you can you can mess around with them and and see what you can do um, and then by messing around with them it helps you understand what's going on in the code. Um, there are also um, exercises, so starting with um, you know very basic things. So I've got this and I need to make this. So you know you can fiddle around for a bit. And, and you get it, and then you move on. It's another thing. Um, and then gets more and more advanced as the book goes on. Also with the interactions, I'm trying to develop some 
tools to help, some interactive tools to help you understand what's going on in the program. So, um, so like in this prototype, I have it set up so that I can move my mouse around the image, and for every pixel that I move my mouse over, um, I can see how the how the program is evaluating. Um, and then I also have this visualization with this uh, the this green line and the red circle, and those are showing me where this. Um, I don't know if it's easily seen, but this red line and this green line, where those values are the same across your image. Um, another example of an interactive tool. So you need to use a lot of um, math to write these programs. Um, and sometimes you have these very long lines of math that are very difficult to understand if you didn't write it yourself. So like this, this line is you know, sort of impenetrable, but if we put it into this um, graph editor, we can see um, what exactly that formula is, but then we can also break it down so we can um, sort of see how it was created. Um, so you can step through how, how the formula is created, and that's sort of the, the premise for understanding in the book is that you want to be able to break down any larger program into smaller chunks until you're able to understand it, and then you build up those chunks to be able to make whatever you want.